Question 15. ABCD is a trapezium, where AD is 10 centimeters, AB is 9 centimeters, DC is 3 centimeters, and angle ABC and BCD are both 90 degrees. Calculate the length of AC. Give the answer correct to three significant figures. So, giving an answer to three significant figures will probably at least get us one mark. So I want to know this line down here. So it might be an idea just to draw this onto the diagram. I'm trying to work out this bit. To do that, that's a right angle triangle. I'm going to be probably using Pythagoras. To do that, I'll, I need to know what the length of BC is. Now, there's no easy way to do that. There's no other information. So I'm going to have to use the fact that this top bit is also a triangle. If they're right angles, the top two right angles, so we have a rectangle. Now I've got this wonderful little right angle triangle here. If that's three centimeters, that means that's six centimeters. So I can use Pythagoras to work out the length of BC. So line BC, square of the hypotenuse, which is 10 squared. Take away the square of shorter side which is 6 so let's take away 6 squared that's going to give me the missing side squared so that's 100 take away 36 which is 64 that's nice gives us a nice whole number so the length BC is just going to be 8 centimeters now we've got that I can work out what AC is. Now AC is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse squared, if I add together the two other sides squared, so add 9 squared to 8 squared, it's going to give us 81, add 64, which is 145. So AC is just the square root of that answer. Now while that gives us a really, really, really long decimal answer, we only want three significant figures. So that's one, two, three. So my final answer is 12.0. Now you could at this stage up here have written down more decimal places but as long as your final answer has three significant figures a lot of people will make the mistake here of just putting 12 but if you're asked for three significant figures that point zero is still just as important